Hey, I'm Case. This is upper body mobility. Let's do this. Try me up here. So good. In this session, we're gonna go over upper body mobility. Uh, for the first exercise, you're gonna need a book. I'm gonna have one right here. I say a book, but it can be everything that is flat and that is wider than your hand. So you see, this book is wider than my hand. If it's too small, then I can grab around the edges and that's not what I want. Then I would call you a cheater. Yeah, so have it, uh, have the surface of what you are catching. It can be a plate, anything that cannot break, please. Um, to hold on your hand. It should be in between one and three kilos. Three kilos would be rather heavy. One kilo would be just fine. Two kilos would be on the uh, heavier side as well. Um, you're gonna place the book or the plate or whatever you have, you're gonna place it on your hands. Again, make sure that your fingers are not uh, beyond the surface area of your object. And from here, we're gonna try to make a complete circle. So I'm gonna come inwards and from here, I'm gonna try to make a circle with my hand all the way around and I'm gonna come back over the top. This will make sure that a lot of, um, that a, that a lot of uh, different parts of my shoulder are being activated. Yeah, it's a very good exercise for shoulder mobility. I come inwards with my hands and you see my nails, they point to that side now and I want them to touch all the sides of the clock, all the way to the top and then even again. Yeah, so we're gonna do this 10 times on one side and 10 times on the other. Make sure your hand is as flat as possible. That's why we have the book, is to make sure that our hand stays flat throughout the exercise. If you do it without the, uh, without the book, your hand can turn in a lot of ways, which will in decrease the intensity of the exercise. We're gonna do this 10 times to one side and then also, 10 times to the other side. What do I mean with the other side? Is uh, before we went inwards, now we first go outwards. Outwards, make a circle above ourselves, and we come back inwards. You see? So we go outwards first, go all the way around, and then we go inwards. Like so. Very nice, 10 times as well. I'm sure that if you have chosen something heavy that you feel a good activation in your shoulder right now. Maybe if it's also too easy for you or too heavy for you, you can play with the weight, of course. Okay, now we turn the pancake. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So first we, go in, first we go inwards, we go to the back, and all the way over the top. We do this 10 times. Very nice. Also to the other side. Okay, very good. Next exercise is gonna be on the wall. I'm gonna, ball, I'm gonna walk backwards and you see me there. Okay, this exercise is gonna be to start exploring your bridge. Uh, a bridge is a very difficult position to get in. And um, if you started from the, from, uh, from the bridge, then you might not be able to do it at first. So this is definitely a way for me to uh, to uh, find my find my way into the bridge to increase my mobility so that I can do it on the floor afterwards. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place one hand 
on the on the wall like so and from here it's important uh, that you take it easy at first and then uh, choose your level so the lower you go the harder it becomes um, so I put my hand on the on the wall I look all the way to the back and I do the same with my other hand now I come out on this side and I do the same again um, my next one was completed, it was successful, so I'm going to try to make it a little bit more difficult. I'm going to lower my hand a bit and then do it again. Now we saw that this was also quite easy for me. I'm going to lower my hand again and do it all the same. I'm going to keep lower, lower, uh, keep getting lower and lower until I find myself comfortable on the floor. So. It's gonna look like this. And then at one moment, it will be good enough to go all the way into the floor. So you can do the exercise as well from all the way from here. Put your hand on the floor, you can go into your bridge and out on the other side. Put your hand on the floor, into the bridge and out to the other side. Okay, this was, that was this exercise. Now we go over to the next one. See you again on the mat. Okay, next up we have a stretch. For the for the wrists on both sides it's very it's a very important stretch normally I do it with, together with a partner uh, but since I don't have a partner I'm gonna Keep explain you guys how you can do it by yourself um, it's more easy and more effective with a partner but if you don't have one you can do it by yourself as well uh, what you're gonna try to do is make a fist as close as possible make your fist as really as tight as possible every deviation in the closeness of your fist will decrease this stretch uh, from here we're gonna put the wrists together like so and normally my partner he would hand held my hands together right now so he will make sure that my fist stay like fist and um, and then from here we're gonna raise up our elbows make sure that your fist stays as close as possible if your hands are gonna come out then it will decrease the stretch so be very mindful of that uh, you want to have your elbows as much straightened out as possible it will give a stretch over the different joints in your hands over your uh, finger joints over your wrists uh, and this stretch of all those joints together at the same time um, will feel very difficult. But try to push yourself through all the way until your elbows are straight like mine. Yeah? Um, after this, after we've did, done this for 30 seconds, I'm gonna lower my elbows again. I'm gonna do, the, and I'm go, gonna do a similar exercise, but then on the other side. So this was mo mostly a stretch on the back side of our hand. But on the inside of our hand, we need a different stretch. We're gonna put our point our index finger in between our legs, like so, and then um, we're gonna keep our four fingers touching the ground during uh, during all of this exercise. Only our thumb is allowed to come off the floor. You will push your fingers into the ground while you try to touch the floor with your elbow. So from here, I'm gonna lower my elbow and try to see if I can touch the ground. It's okay if you can't touch it all the way, but you want to keep your fingers on the floor like this. So keep pushing into the floor so you feel a nice stretch on this side of your, of your hand, yeah? Keep pushing into the floor, keep pushing into the floor. We do this again for 30 seconds on each, on each side. this you come up and we do the same on the other side so I'm gonna put my point my index finger in between my legs that's when, that's when I know I have the, I have the right uh, angle um, from here all my my four fingers from my little finger to my index finger all those four fingers are gonna be touching the ground 
while my elbow comes towards the floor. It's okay if my thumb, thumb comes up, but the others are not allowed to leave the floor. I'm gonna push my elbow into the floor and I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Try to keep challenging myself to go further and further into the, into the stretch. Okay, very good. That's nice. Okay, very good. Okay, so this was a good stretch for the wrist. Uh, next up, we did some uh, bridge, uh, some bridge work on the on the wall before. But uh, for the guys who are more experienced and for um, pretty much every, of you, uh, every one of you, uh, try, to be ex uh, try to explore the movements that you have. So if, you, if, the, uh, if the bridge has become familiar to you, you want to play around with it. So for now, I'm gonna go into the bridge, like so. And then from here, I'm gonna try to assume different positions. I'm gonna put more weight on one side. I'm gonna put more weight on the other, but be really playful with this. So one thing I like to do is from here, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna see how much I can turn with my head, like so. And I feel that I, that I get turned into the position. I feel diff different mu muscles working and it will also increase my, uh, my shoulder mobility. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna put my hand on the ground. I'm gonna try and see if I can, if I can explore new movements. I'm gonna go lower, lower, lower. And see, I came out the back like that. Next time will be different. I'm gonna go into a different position, maybe with my knees. Maybe lower my shoulder a little bit more, like this. And I will be able to hold it better, going softer. Yeah, gonna do the same on the other side. Let's say now I want to put my hand in a different position. So instead of going straight here, I want to go maybe to the front, like so. And then have my bridge from there. Try and see how many different variations you can come up with, yeah? Um, the next exercise is gonna be a stretch. You're gonna be laying on the floor and uh, you will see how it goes. So, this next stretch, I'm gonna lay myself on the mat. My back leg is gonna be straightened like this and my knee is gonna touch the floor. It's very important that my knees keep touching the floor. This way I have a right reference, a marker point for my other hand to see how far my stretch goes. Um, from here, my other knuckle is gonna touch the ground. It's gonna keep touching the ground while I'm gonna try to make a big circle around myself. And I'm gonna try to keep touching the ground all the way until I'm at the back. From here, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do all the same. Like so. Try to push into the ground. For me, this is easy, I've done this a lot. But uh, for you guys, you might feel that, especially when you're at the back over here, you cannot touch the ground. Push yourself into the ground, really try to Stretch it, strengthen yourself, push into the floor and see how far you can go. Go up and down. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same exercise on the other side. I'm gonna clip my audio real quick. Like so. And now I'm gonna lay on this side. Again, your knee need, needs to stay on the floor. It's very important. If you do like this, you come all the way to here, well then it's nice that you touch the floor, but it's, it won't work that way. Uh, keep your floor on the ground, uh, keep your knee on the floor, knuckle on the floor, and turn all the way to the back. 
Very nice. Okay, that's it boys and girls, we're gonna do one more repetition of all of these exercises, let's do it. Sexuel. Sexuel. 